Hello everyone, it's Miss Tara and I'm here to share with you my favorite picture books. Uh, it's July, I hope you're having a great summer and uh, let's get started, okay? I'm going to start with my favorite of the books out of my stack today and it's this one. It's called Brave as a Mouse. Alright, so do you think of mice as very brave? Maybe not. The illustrations in this book are excellent. It's about a fish and a mouse who are friends and they want to play together, but it's kind of hard to play together because one's a mouse and one's a fish. And as you can see, there are some other pets that live in the house too. So this one is a lot of fun. Check out the illustrations. Absolutely gorgeous. Love this one. Uh, the next book I have here is called The End is Just the Beginning. A book of endless possibilities written by Mike Bender. All right, so this is good for open-ended questions. And it talks about how the end of things is just the beginning. So the end, that is right, you read it correctly. You've reached the end and the beginning. So it talks about at the end of night, uh, what's the beginning? Or the end of the day is just the beginning of the night. Or um, the a dead end sign is you know might might take you to the ocean. So you this is great for open ended questions with your kids, um, and maybe ask them another thing that would be the end um, and a beginning, like maybe a caterpillar because there's lots of butterflies on the front on the front. So when a caterpillar is no longer a caterpillar and goes into a chrysalis, that's the end of being a caterpillar but the beginning of being a butterfly. So I do like that one. This one's a little artsy. It's called Line and Scribble. It's by Deborah Vogrig. All right, Line and Scribble could not be more different. Line goes straight while Scribbles wanders. Line digs a tunnel as Scribble rides a roller coaster. Line draws with a ruler and Scribble, if you can see that, Sorry about that. So it just talks about the different things that line can do. And this could be a fun art project. Draw different kinds of hair, line and scribble. Um, different kind of dancing, that kind of thing. So this one was fun, line and scribble. Lots of animals in these books this time. So this is Can Cat and Bird Be Friends? Can cat and bird, can a cat and a bird be friends by Cole Muir? Well, it's a story about cat and bird and if they think that they can be friends. And they talk about all the different things that they like. Um, bird, bird likes high trees and kitty doesn't really like high trees and um, uh, worm, um, bird likes to eat worms. The cat doesn't like worms, so this is a fun one. The pictures are mostly black and white. Um, there's some color in there, but not a lot. So this is great fun. <clears throat> this one I think is a little bit older, but it came across my desk and I really, really liked it. It's the Hugly Woogly Spider by Ethan Berlin. You know, usually we know the Itsy Bitsy Spider, right? So, and this one, <laughs> this, this spider talks about all the things that could happen when you curl up the water spout. So, um, okay, basically all the spiders I know climbed up the water spout and they kind of implied that maybe I, the hugly woogly spider, was too big to climb up a water spout. Whatever, I could climb up the water spout if I wanted to, which I don't. So, uh, hugly woogly is a very large spider. A little bit more text, maybe for um, somebody a little bit older, or if you have time for a longer story. This is another beautiful book. I know we don't want to talk about snow, but that's where the story is based in. Um, it's called A Stranger Comes to Down by Maria Kristen Jan Doter. Okay, I'm probably saying her last name wrong. So, A Stranger Comes to Town. And can 
you tell what kind of stranger is going to come to town? So basically they find a stranger in town and they help the stranger get back to where he's supposed to go. Um, but they feed him along the way and it gets really big. So cute story. A stranger comes to town. <clears throat> I found this one to be really funny. This is called Pigeon Mass. Um, and it is about mass. It's by uh, Asia Citro. But it's kind of funny. So, one bright and sunny morning, ten pigeons, and you can count them. Hey, wait, they're going after bugs. How many are left? Um, okay, as I was saying, four pigeons. Um, so, it's, it's really funny. So some other birds chase them, a cat chases them. Uh, it doesn't end well for the cat. But it's, um, you can do a lot of counting with your kids and count how many birds are there and uh, how many birds are in the story. So uh, this one is fun. This one is called So Big and So Small by John Coy. Beautiful illustrations. He wants to be right there right now. So it's a little uh, boy who's um, comparing himself about big and small. So I'm so big compared to a baby, a puppy. But he's so small compared to a large tree or the ocean. Again, this will give you a chance to um, bring up some of the things in the story. So you could ask your child, you're, you're bigger than what? And you're smaller than what? So good conversation starter for you and your child. So big and so small. This one's really cute. Uh, another spider story. Nothing Scares Spider by S. Miranda's. All right. So nothing scares spider. I don't know how many people are scared of spiders. They're not my favorite. But I do try to get them outside instead of stomp on them. So Spider is going on an adventure, but Spider is takes care of all of his friends. So when something scary happens, his friends usually call Spider to help, but Spider's going on an adventure. So his friends, Caterpillar and Ladybug and Bumblebee, say, what are we going to do if you're not here? And he says he's going to leave behind a piece of his silk wherever he goes, and they will pull on that silk when they need help. Well, he only gets about five minutes down the road and they call for his help. And then he gets a little bit farther down the road and they call for his help. So um, he gets a little frustrated, but in the end, his friends, um, you know, might, might save him. And then I have one more book. I left it over here. I'm very sorry. Um, the last book I have is the hidden rainbow the bees need your help to help this garden grow by christy mason so really pretty book uh fun to see what's in your garden uh, one little bee peeks out uh, to see a world of gray and snow oh not snow again but it talks about what you what plants you might see in the snow um and then what you might see that are red in the spring what you might see that are orange. Uh, my favorite is what you might see with blue. So that's, excuse me, the hidden rainbow. And those are the books that I have for you. It's been a little bit slower month for me for picture books. Uh, so if you found any awesome picture books, I hope that you'll tell me about them so that I can reserve them and get a look at them. If you saw any titles on here that you would like to check out, you can call us, you can come in, or um, you can go online and reserve copies to be sent to your library. Again, I hope you are having a great summer. You're finishing up Summer Reading Club, and uh, I will see you again for August. Take care. Bye.